is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today man we are going on a special toy hunt got the hookup at second chance toys in marietta georgia man the owners of second chance were actually so nice to let me come in exclusively they're actually closed on mondays but i was swinging through the area and they said they would open for me so i greatly appreciate that man but we're about to head in there hopefully it will be a banger i expect it you know i've seen videos i've seen everything so i'm just excited to see it in person see what we get hopefully we fill in some holes in the collection i'm definitely gonna buy something uh you know i got a denzel Washington it up. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. But at the same time, I want to get a few gifts for, for Brad. I want to probably pick up something for my son and wife, and we'll see what goes from there. And I just want to check this place out, man. It looks amazing in the videos that I've seen, so I'm actually really, really excited to go in here. Again, anywhere around my area doesn't have anything like this, and I don't know if the toy hunting will end here. You know, we'll, 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 you know, we'll grasp that. We'll see where the thing goes. I may hit a Walmart or a Target around the area just to find out. Maybe I can hit ultimate edition batista or something like that man but hopefully we fill some holes in the collection that is the biggest part of going on these toy hunts seeing these amazing toy stores trying to fill holes in the collection and trying to you know uphold the mdt name anyways man i'll see you guys in the store and we will get it going i'm super thankful that they're opening the store again man huge shout out to them man like i appreciate that so much they did not have to do that i could have they could have been closed and i had to come back tomorrow but they are amazing and i'll see you guys in the store Alright guys, here we are in the wrestling section. This store is honestly very overwhelming, man. They got everything you could possibly think of all across the board, but you do have this nice stand in the middle here, and then you have this beautiful display case right here that has the lighting set up and everything like that. Has some classic superstars. Got some ultimate, look at this ultimate warrior, ultimate edition right there. They actually have two of them there. Got the old school razor right there. I think that's with the original sticker on it and everything, so that looks amazing. Just a lot of great stuff going on in this display case. I wish I had one of these at the house. Got some loose elites, basics, nice stuff going on. Got the Legends Jake back there. Little Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Elite 64 Rollins. We got some top picks. Ron Strowman, Elite Sheamus, Kurt Hawkins. We got even Elite. What is it, 47 KO back there with the nice table. You got Asuka, Pete Dunn, you got Ascension, kind of crazy. Ooh, a little Elite 49 Enzo, I think, is what that is. You got Trash Corbin up front. Elite 57 Hardy back there. Elite Cesaro. All kinds of good stuff, man. Like, we don't have anything like this near me, so you know we gotta get it in. Apologize for whatever that noise is, but sounds like they're leaf blowing or something like that. But got some more stuff down here. Just tons and tons of stuff in here, man. Like you won't believe it. There's so many things. Got the Legends Warrior back there, mint on card, looking beautiful. Got Goldberg back there. Some more classic superstars. Got Drew McIntyre over here. I like that Curtis Axel over right here. Got KO Mania. Got some basics. We got Hawk from Elite Series 30. Missed the old school packaging, man. Got some basics. Got Rich Swan. Probably gonna have to cop that. Lost that in the collection a long time ago. I apologize for the noise. But you got the case there. Beautiful figures. Got the Wrestling Buddies Ultimate Warrior. Got a Brutus Beefcake. Got John Cena up there. Got the UFC Octagon. We got some. WWE of the Universe or Masters of the WWE Universe figures. Classic superstars. Lots of different stuff here, man. Get the NXT Elite Drew. Plenty of stuff in here, man. Lots and lots of stuff. Honestly, very overwhelming. You know, you gotta... I'm gonna have to do multiple laps. I've already been here 20 minutes. Possibly longer, but kind of crazy. You got Kurt Hawkins. Got a few Kurt Hawkins, actually. You got Ali back there, Elite 69. 
A classic Jericho. Hogan. Warrior. Another warrior. Lots of uh, classic superstar warriors in here. Got Lince Dorado. We got Heenan. We got Sonya Deville. Very nice. Collector's Edition. Umaga. Actually, have not been able to find this at retail at all. The whole wave. Yokozuna right there. Uh, oh my goodness. They have the legendary ringside exclusive shield Kurt Angle. Probably the most valuable figure in this entire place. Gotta put him at the front. Well, you got Network Spotlight Gender. You got James Ellsworth back there. Elite 40 Finn Balor. That wasn't his first figure, was it? Was that his first figure? Did he get a basic first? I think he got a basic first. It doesn't say first time in the line on it. Remember finding this in the wild? No. Here we are, fast forward five, six years. You got Maurice. You got Jack Gallagher, Kalisto, Elite 46 Finn. Got some basics back here. Lots of warrior, man. Tons of warrior. Got Playmate Simpsons figures. Always wish I collected these, man. They had some sick dioramas and stuff like that. Movie collection, Krillin. Me and my brother used to collect these all the time. We had a million of them. We had this whole wave. Battle Damage, Vegeta, Goku in the suit, Krillin in the suit, and Mecha Cooler. Oh boy. Classic. We have some classic superstars, two packs and three packs. Very nice to see. Always love seeing those men on card. We got uh, Retro Cena, Masters of the WWE Universe over here. I think I only have Wave 1. I only have Wave 1 of those figures. And then, like with John Cena, I think it's Roman Reigns, John Cena, Rey Mysterio. Something like that. Uh, got some Jacks. Got Chris Jericho. Classic Superstars. Hideo Itami Basic. Ty Dillinger. Back there. Sorry for the focus. So much stuff. It's unbelievable. Got some DBZ. Even have a whole cabinet over here of DBZ. Got the old Burger King Goku statue right there. Classic. Nostalgia. Had all the Jacks DBZ figures. Got SH figure warts. Some more down here. Thought about buying that Piccolo back there. Just completely overwhelmed, honestly. Gotta take it all in and then make decisions. Don't make decisions in the moment. A lot of the stuff I don't even know what I'm looking at. Got some more stuff on this side. Got some loose basics down here. I'm not sure if he has like more loose elites or anything like that. We'll have to see, but more basics. Got Eva Marie, Undertaker, Rusev, Stardust, tons of basics and stuff. Is that his first figure? No, nah, surely not. What was his first figure? I can't remember what Finn's first figure was with WWE. I want to say it was a basic like this. And then you had the first demon appearance, maybe, was Elite 40. Got some classic battle packs. Got the four pack Hall of Fame. I remember when those used to shelf warming, though. Here they go. Charlotte. We got Giants Eddie Guerrero. Retro Taker. Got the Hulk Still Rules three pack, which is beautiful. I think he's got two of them here. Look at that. All three versions of Hogan. Obviously there's more, but you get the point. Very cool. Classic battle packs. Nice Batista basic. Legends John Stud. Adam Rose, what a classic. Oh my goodness. I think this is the wave that changed it all right here. Basic 77. Yep, there it is. The wave that ruined basics forever. Very nice. Got, uh, ooh, very nice basic edge. 
got Bubba Ray Dudley. Oh my goodness, you got the Dennis Rodman Power Slam. Had this as a kid. That's Sammy Guevara back there. Hall of Fame Sarge. Hopefully the footage is good. Hopefully I'm not shaking around and stuff like that. It's just crazy how much stuff they have in here. Like, look at this. This is a whole room. And then you have a whole other side of the store that is completely open, too. So you have this big room here. And then you go into that room over there. And it's even twice this size and even more stuff. So this is the first room. And then you go through here. And tons more to look at. Just tons and tons more to look at. Every figure line that you could possibly imagine. I, I bet you could find at least one piece from it here. If I don't speak, it's because I'm just flabbergasted. Got Legends, Marvel, everything, Selects, Universe figures, figures upon figures, stacked upon figures. In the case, out of the case, on display, mint on card, hot toys, everything you could possibly imagine. I believe you'll find it here. Got some DC stuff. Very cool. I love how everything's organized. Very easy to find, very easy to get to. Nice and retro card Spider-Man back there. Beautiful. Just got that Spider-Man. All kinds of Le Legends men on card. Got some retro stuff over here. You got Joe, plenty of Joe stuff. You can have some classic lunch boxes, old play sets, man. Just ridiculous, ridiculous. Alright, so he does have this box here, and we got the Network Spotlight Diesel, which is very nice. I remember grabbing that at retail. Um, and then we have like a bunch of plastic bags here with figures in it. So we have the WrestleMania 33 Triple H, we got the Flashback X Pac, some very nice Power Slam figures here. We got, dude, I love this Hogan. So classic. I love it. You actually have the whole entire NWO there, so. Got all three of them. Got Hall, Nash, and Hogan. Uh, got Flashback, HBK, got Papa Shango. We may actually be cooking with peanut oil on here. Got Walgreens, Triple H. Got Ray. I'm going to definitely have to dig through this because we got some pretty good stuff in here. Let's 
see. An Elite 58 Matt Hardy. He said that a kid brought this in not too long ago, so if you're watching, I have dibs on your collection now. That's just jokes. We got Doink. It's crazy because a lot of these I sold off. Like I, I found this whole wave at Walmart, sold them all. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Warrior and Hogan. There's the worst Randy Orton Elite of all time. The WrestleMania 34 Elite. Actually goes for a lot though, for some reason, but. Oh, we got the Retro HBK. We got same Seth Rollins Basic. We got this the Hall of Champions Road Dog. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to sort through this and see if I can find some good stuff, but. Hall of Champions Billy Gunn. Never found that. All these figures are in really good condition too. You love to see it. I'm gonna have to sort through this. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chance Sadler here at Second Chance Toys in Marietta, Georgia. Um, we very much appreciate Trey coming through and saying hey to us. Um, I'm sure he'll let you know, but we opened specifically for him to come in and, and do whatever he needed to do. So uh, we hope that you guys come through the area and stop in. Yeah, man. Amazing shop, pretty overwhelming, just an absurd collection of stuff. And uh, I appreciate him for opening up for us and Hopefully, I mean, I know the video didn't do it justice, but we'll have to, uh, I, I tried to get like B-roll and I tried to talk a little bit, but I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. All right, guys, I am back home after the toy hunt. This is actually days later, like multiple days later with all the stuff that we've had coming in, right? All the different reviews I've had to get out. And since my Elite 93 didn't arrive until a day later, I am a little bit late on my, I don't know why I said it like that, I am. Like what, what's happening here? I am a little bit later on my Elite 93 reviews. Hopefully, I may do that later today. I may get those in the mail and immediately upload them, or at least the first review of that. Rollins and Cesaro, probably. I don't know. We'll see about that. You know, what comes of that. But they didn't arrive on time. So I figured the toy hunt would be the next best thing to post. And I just want to give another huge shout out to Second Chance Toys for the opportunity to come in the store and get to shop. I wanted to show off my haul from the entire trip that I took. So it was a lot of stuff. I don't know if you guys can see behind me. But I have a lot of stuff behind me. I'm probably going to do one big, like, weekly haul or something like that, like a My Damn Hauls episode on everything that I got because you guys will not believe all the different stuff that I've obtained over the different weeks. But... It's been a lot of stuff. It's been a lot of stuff, like just crazy stuff going wild, but figured I'd show off what we got here and then we can get that later on. But let's go ahead and dive into the haul. Didn't purchase a whole lot. I did get one thing for my son. I got a couple things for Brad and then, uh, and I don't have those things with me. So it's literally just a few figures here. I didn't necessarily have a, a spending limit when I went in there or anything in my brain. I was just like, you know what, man, I'm just gonna go in here if I see some figures I want. You know, I'm not gonna like totally break the bank, but at the same time, uh, you know, when you drive that far and you're out there anyway, you might as well spend some money, you know? Like, yeah, you, you, you want to get your, your money's worth when you drive out there. So I think I did that, man. But let's go ahead and dive into it. The first figure that I got, man, was the Hall of Champions Billy Gunn figure. Never found this figure in stores. It was one that eluded me a lot. And here it is. Finally found it. It's in beautiful condition. It's got the World Tag title with it. I think it's fantastic. So I think the only Elite Billy Gunn that I'm missing now is the Elite 27, I think it is. Never seen or had the opportunity to have that figure. So I guess that's one thing. But this figure is beautiful. I love the pink trunks. I think it's uh, it's it's sweet. This is sick. And you guys know we just got the recent Legends figure. So this one will look nice up next to that one. But now we have one that will probably be... Another thing is I probably need to get a couple of that Billy Gunn. I haven't seen it around. I only saw it like once or twice. And now that it's not really in stores, I should have probably gotten another one. That way it could have the DX, you know, Army Gear and the regular wrestling gear, but I'm happy to add this version of Billy Gunn. Looks really sick, so that's pretty awesome there. Next figure that we got is actually another Hall of Champions figure, and 
I am very excited to add both of these to my collection, but the first one is the Hall of Champions Warrior, another one that I never saw in person. This is one of his best figures, man. I think this is just so sick. I love the screaming expression. I just think the gear is really sweet. I love all the colors on it, and I'm missing quite a few warriors from the collection. A long time ago, I sold off a few of my warriors, and now, you know, trying to get the, like, trying to fill back those holes in that have been missing so long from the collection, so I figured that would be a great opportunity. Not only did we get the Hall of Champions Warrior, Warrior, but we also picked up now this is a figure that I saw a few times but uh, I feel like you don't really come across this one very often and it is the I think it's the is it the Hall of Fame two pack with Papa Shango this was a Target exclusive I remember finding this thing at dirt cheap one time man went to dirt cheap they had not only the wild Samoans but they had the Papa Shango and this and I bought both of them for literally like 12 bucks a piece and that that's just crazy I wish I could get those dirt cheap hauls I feel like dirt cheap kind of fell off but they're they're slowly working their way back here uh, but this is sweet I'm, I'm very happy to own this figure again I think it looks awesome the colors are just so sick the teal boots are awesome so that's all I got man I just got these three figures just the two warriors and the Billy Gunn and that's that's it that's all I got but I also picked up stuff at other retails I, I went on a ton of toy hunts man like I went around to a hundred different targets I went to different stop and shops and stuff like that but it was the same stuff over and over again I don't want to just keep filming the same thing you know like if I go into a store it's the same pickings it's the same exact people every single time or just one or two different if I don't hit anything like a chase or anything like mega I'm not gonna put it in the video now these I did hit on but at the same time, they weren't on the shelves. I had to talk to employees and stuff like that. But we did manage to grab the Ultimate Edition Batista. This is actually uh, after the review. I know I've already posted my review. But I do have two extra Batista figures here. They look beautiful. I love this figure. I don't know if I'll get another one. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there. But this figure looks amazing. If you guys have not checked out the review, please go check out the review. Definitely needed one for Men on Card. And then I did need one for the Loose Collection. And then the extra extra one will probably be fix-ups and stuff like that. I'm hoping that it'll be a figure that's really easy to obtain and we'll see where that goes, but I had a ton of, th this is probably going to go down in the, I don't know, I need to come up with a, a, a my damn like toy hunt hall of fame or something like that this figure would be in there like figures that i've had to like go super hard after to find at retail and get my hands on so that is probably up there and then since they were doing the 25 dollars off spend 100 dollars, i went ahead and grabbed two more figures at retail and that was the top picks ray mysterio and the elite series 90 yeah randy orton so i got the best ray mysterio figure of all time and the best randy orton figure of all time in my in my humble opinion there for fix-ups customs things of that nature so that's pretty much all i have for you guys again not a ton of clips i don't think of me toy hunting but i did end up grabbing that stuff and i have a tall stack of figures over there i'm probably gonna do do like one let me know down below would you rather see like a haul video and a big unboxing or would you rather just see the unboxing or would you rather you know what i'm saying just let me know down in the comment section below but i may do like a big purge unboxing of all these different figures where i you know just open them and we just hang out and unbox everything or i might do a or I might do a my damn hauls episode showcasing all the different figures that we've gotten over the couple weeks where it's a lot of stuff bro so just let me know down in the comment section below man but i'm getting out of here a huge shout out to second chance toys again man unbelievable store if you're in the area man you definitely need to go check it out i'll try to remember to leave everything down in the description below for the info and all those things but holy crap what a toy store what an epic owner and ownership over there man the, those were great guys and, and they were amazing so i appreciate them very much for letting me come by I film do the toy hunt and all those different things on a day that were closed man so that's very special and that was a blessing so thank you so much for them definitely go check them out they have everything you could possibly imagine as far as which figure lines so definitely go check it out man but i'm getting out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like target trying to freaking evade me with the batista man what is up with that you cross the line i've been beat.